Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. Welcome back to another Time Pieces for Tomorrow video. And within this video, I want to talk about is soap scum a problem for your watches? You know, if you if you swim with them and then you get in the shower and you, you shampoo and stuff, you know, is that going to damage a watch? Now, you know, there's a lot of people have different opinions. My best advice if you're if you're afraid of damaging your wristwatch, don't take it near water. Even if it's a dive watch, don't. But with that being said, see See in there, you can see like there's some there's some soap scum, and then there's there's like I guess some mold, man, some mold from you know I keep these things clean, but they just get you know sometimes it just gets gunked up. So you can see all that in there, and I mean that's the kind of that's the kind of stuff you might expect. You'll see some uh, you can see in this there's a there's some discoloration of the uh, of the stainless steel right there. See that soap soap scum right around in there. So you know, if you if you do shower or bathe with your, and see, there's a lot of soaps come down in there. If you do shower or bathe with your dive watches, you know, make sure that you clean them off thoroughly with you know with fresh water when you get out. And you know that's something because that that will build up over time. Has it degraded the timepiece? I, in my opinion, I wouldn't say so. Um, you know, just because this thing's built like a tank. This is a this is a Seamaster. 300m pre-coaxial with the blue wave dial so you know the bezel's got some patina it's got some scratches there man where i ran into a wall so i mean it's uh it's been abused but i think the the least thing it, that the thing that i would worry the least about would be soap scum that's just my personal opinion what do you think about bathing showering with your timepiece with your dive watch do you think it's a thing you should do or is it something you shouldn't do could that soap degrade the stainless steel? You know, could it create problems? Look at that soap scum in there, man. Look, right there. There's soap scum. Scummy, 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 scummy. Look at all that soap scum. Ooh, yeah, that soap scum. Ugh. I mean, I don't know. I mean, again, I'm not, I don't claim to be the soap scum expert. I'm just a guy that wants to film some honest wristwatch content so do you swim do you take a shower do you take a bath with your dive watch or do you take it off comment below and tell me what you do because i want to know and i mean you know this is this is a question that many people have had should you bathe should you shower while wearing your watch obviously if you choose to do it make sure you've got a proper dive watch with a screw down crown that has been tested recently for its water resistance. You know, this Omega, even though I trust it, you know, I, I've never serviced this thing, man. But even though I still trust it, you know, to be safe, if you're going to get it in water, you probably want to have it, uh, you know, tested to make sure that its water resistance is still acceptable. So there you have it, man. Soap scum on dive watches. Stay tuned, subscribe, ring that bell icon when you do. And that'll notify you whenever I post another video. And if you've got any uh, suggestions for future timepieces for tomorrow videos, comment below and I'll try to respond with an upcoming video. Oh, and check out timepiecesfortomorrow.com to find all of my other timepieces for tomorrow videos too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irix guy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever i post another video thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day